Welcome back. This is your girl Shayna Mena on the Mouth of the South. Today we have a special edition. I'm getting my nails done by Nails by Me. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for coming all the way back home. You're very much welcome. To Augusta, Georgia. All day. Yeah, so before we talk about nails, let's talk about your background. Augusta is your home. Mm -hmm. You miss Born it? Born and raised. Uh, not really. No. Um, no, but in that, and that's not in a bad way. It's just because I've been here all my life. Okay. So that's all. Okay. And so change is good. Change is definitely good. And currently, she's going viral over somebody in Augusta. So let's talk about that. Uh, well, how did that come about? Um, okay, so I needed my nails done. I mean, my, not my nails, sorry. I needed my hair done because I didn't want to wear my regular short platinum. So I came to support a young stylist in Augusta. And um, for my event that I had with a soft opening, and um, unfortunately, that is what I turned out with. So I posted it because I was so about it, and um, it's going viral, unbeknownst to my expectations. Currently, what what's the views like? So right now I'm at um, over five hundred thousand views. So we're probably at six hundred thousand views. So I'm definitely I'm going to hit a million. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not the first time. <laughs> but it still looks good. So whoever messed up my girl hair, she gonna get y'all when she can see y'all. Yeah, and make sure y'all go hit up my new style that's Touched by Desire. Period. Yes. Is she from Augusta as well? Yes, she is from Augusta. She's located off of Washington Road. Okay, okay. So make sure y'all go check her out. So let's talk about nails. How long have you been a self-made boss? Okay, so I've only been doing nails uh, four years. Four years. Right at about four years. So it's right at about it. So yeah. So what was your first year? 2019. How was that like? Um, It was kind of crazy because I started doing nails through like a time that I was going through in my life. And um, I started to make money as we spoke about it um, because I had lost my career at the hospital. So when I got into nails, it was just something to make money, not knowing that I would just like be this uh, wanted nail tech like that. I, I wasn't expecting it at all. I've been watching her for like two years, and I was like, I have to book. I have, and like I'm like double tapping, I'm commenting, I'm like, I want you to do my nails, and this is the day that it finally came. So I'm so excited. I'm glad you are, because I normally do not even um, come, you know, like back home to do any kind of services. So. I'm glad to be back, but I'm also glad to be on your podcast. Thank you for coming. Yeah. So let's talk about what does it take in order to be a boss? Like, what was your struggles? What was your outbringings? What was... Uh, being a boss, it takes consistency. Um, and you have... To, one of the things is every penny that you spend counts. So you basically mean that you have to save that's one of the biggest things about it. It's about marketing, learning how to be a mini content creator on accident. Um, it requires a lot of posting. My downfalls that I feel like um, doing nails were is like not starting my business backwards. So like not having no foundation, just doing nails, you know. So I feel like I was behind. Um, because I didn't have a plan. Like, I didn't wake up one day and was like, oh, I want to be a nail tech. So I made all these, you know, different type of arrangements to become that. It wasn't that with me. So that was the trials that I faced. Um, I really don't like to talk about how I got in this situation uh, to lose my career. But it, was, it had something to do with me um, going away for 15 years. So that's how I ended up losing my uh, career. But I bounced back with nails, so... It all worked out. And you said that nails wasn't even like something you knew that you had inside of you. So that was, mm -mm. that was crazy. I'm taking this glove off. Okay. Sorry, y'all. It's okay. But we're going to fix it. <laughs> so no, I never, I always would go. So I've always been a fashionable person. So I would always go to the nail salon, like tell them what I wanted and stuff like that. But I like me touching a nail, doing a nail, I've never done it. Now I had never, ever even thought about it. So, but I needed money. So when you need money, All the and, you need, and I knew I wasn't, I was embarrassed about like losing my job because I made it to the jail report and stuff, things of that nature. And um, it actually ended up getting out at the hospital. So I know I definitely didn't want to like go work nowhere or anything like that at that moment. So I had to find something um, to do. 
And that was nails. How did you find your faith? Like, when did you say, okay, I'm about to get up, get out of Augusta? And, like, when was that year for you? Or what told um, you to move? It went pretty fast for me doing nails. So, I ended up... Um, befriending um, a, a chick down there in Labrie, and she was on this show at the time called Beyond the Pole ATL. And we became friends, so I'd go down there and I would see her, and then I would start doing clients and things of that nature. And sometimes I would even get called to come do, like, Little Kim, Jack in the Car. Like, it's, it, I've done tons of people. Summer Walker, Regina and Toya have been a consistent clients of mine. I, I think I was doing Bad Baby when she came out. I've done tons of celebrities. So I was missing out on money. You know, they call you for something and you're in Augusta, that's a long ride. So that's what made me was like, you know what? I got to get up out of Augusta. But during that time, I started. So 2020 and everything was just like going perfect. So I ended up uh, teaming up with these girls called the Taylor Girls, and they actually had a salon down in Decatur, Cut Creators. And I ended up started going down there, and we made the shade room and things of that nature. But then COVID hit. So during COVID hit, I ended up back in Augusta, you know, because I didn't want to get stuck in Atlanta. But then no one could work. They didn't want you to work. But Nails by Me was working out the house, <laughs> period. <laughs> Cooking out the kitchen. <laughs> and um, I was doing like 87 people a week. I strained my eyes and everything. But that helped me to get out of Augusta okay. and go head on and pursue like doing nails in a bigger place. So what's some advice you'll give a young entrepreneur looking to start their own business um do some research um partner with people always get with somebody that's doing better than you um surround yourself with people that want to see you grow always be consistent be your own believer when um family and friends because you're going to get a lot of that that don't want to support you you got to know that you're your biggest fan at the end of the day and you determine how your life go and strangers gonna always support you because somebody always wants something new so just keep believing in you. That's all you can do. That's it. Because somebody is always watching. Somebody like, is always watching. Yeah. So now, I want to add this little end the segment. So right now, we're just doing her little short little nail set. We're all done with that. Now we're going to um, apply dehydrator and young nails. <laughs> but that's it. Get y'all nails done by me. Yeah, of course. That'll be nice. But, you know, you're going to have to come to Atlanta. <laughs> unless unless it's some big time podcast. But we already got this going on, so. Yes. Y'all yeah. will have to step a little harder. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a trip. We'd we'll love to have you. Yes. So who's one of your favorite? Like, you said you work with celebrities and mm -hmm. you also work with regular people. Yeah. Who are some of your favorite customers that you work with? Huh. Like, so when you say favorite customers, are you saying like my regular customers? Or are you are you asking me like about like celebrities? Celebrities. Okay. Um, my favorite celebrity is my friend Delicious. I can honestly say that. But outside of that, I really like Summer, and I really like um, Toya and Ray Janae. Toya is really dope. What's Ray Janae just a sweetie to me. What's some advice have they given to you in the game? Um, we just be... Well, Delicious is just always inspiring. Um, I've never really asked um, Toya or Ray Janae for any information like or anything like that. They just tell me that I'm good. Nothing major. Okay. What's a future celebrity you dream about doing? Um, <laughs> what future celebrity I feel I... Um, well, bigger, like uh. Well, I actually would like to do Cardi B, and that's only Ooh, because yeah. I've been um, contacted about doing her nails. But this was during the time that Offset had—I mean, not Offset, but they had that takeover. Had got uh, passed away, and then I was talking to an assistant. But I guess it was a busy time, so it didn't go through. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't have a celebrity that I would want to do because I'll do them all as long as they're gonna pay. Period. <laughs> what's your favorite type of nails to do? Short, long? Like, what's your favorite? I like to do um, freestyle long. Well, it can be medium, but I just like to have nails that um, I can do freestyles on. But now I've become to love the shorties because I've been freaking them out, making the girls feel good. So. They do, especially with the jewels that you be adding. I'm yeah. like, yes. I really don't have a specific now anymore. It's just, like, I just love doing nails, honestly. It's nothing... 
As long as you can have fun, freestyle. I even like manicures and pedicures. I used to dread them. Really? Especially pedicures. Why? You're not a feet person? <laughs> what made you a feet person? Um, you had to just accept No, it. I end up going to school at this place called Elaine Sterling. And um, I found that pedicures were very relaxing. And sometimes I may not even want to deal with the client. Like, be up in their face, up and close and personal. So, yeah. That, that made me know that, like, yeah, I, I like I like it. Okay. So, on social media, you do uh, post and share that you're looking for people to rent out spaces. Yes. So, I have partnered with the Idea um, Spa. We're located on Camelton Road. So, I partnered them. Now, they have suites out there available, but I have my own mini salon and I offer private rooms so therefore like people that because I used to get like people like you got somewhere for me to work you know things of that nature so I wanted to provide a place where you can not have to go and share share and stuff like that you can just come to me and you can rent a place it's got a 55 inch TV private entrance I mean private bathroom your own private door you know all those attributes so yeah come by and see me so where do you see yourself in the near future owning my own school what will you be teaching I will be teaching state board, um, state board. Um, so I'll be teaching you how to prep you, prep you for the state board. Also, as well as I'll be teaching nails. I'll be teaching you how to do feet. I'll be teaching you how to do polishes. It's just a full nail school. Like you'll come there, you'll get your certificate, and then you'll go take your test. It'll be a school, a school that's hopefully my my wish is to have it financially aid provided. So yeah. So during COVID, you know, we couldn't work, we couldn't be outside. Mm -hmm. So how did you get your business started, like, after all the no's and all the Okay, downfalls? so the, what, how did I get through COVID was, honestly, how did I get through COVID? I got through COVID because I stayed open. So I had people coming that would normally, you know, going to nail shops and all that because people really you know, wanted their nails still done. You know, we were all detached from just seeing people. And so at that time, I was working from home. And I was located off of um, Middlebrook. And I had that many people coming through COVID. So I actually did really well in COVID because I ended up moving to Atlanta the summer of 2020. So I did really, really, that's my friend. So I did really, really well, really well. So COVID was, COVID did me good. COVID did her good. COVID ain't stopped nothing. No, COVID did me wonderful. COVID did me amazing. Hmm. So what is, what do you think one is, well, what do you think is one of your weakness and like your social media? Is it marketing? Is it like, what do you think? I think one of my, my biggest um, social media in the beginning, because now like I've rebranded. Okay. So I think one of my biggest things in social media was I was always skeptical about collabing with other people. Um, I didn't like to, you know, like even like do inspirational work, which inspirational and actually want me to mimic something, you know, is different. So those are like the things that I changed as far as how I go about it, if that makes sense. Yeah, go check her out, y'all. Where can they follow you? You can follow me at Nails by Me on Instagram. And on TikTok, you can follow me at Me by Nails. So basically, it's just backwards. Okay. Yeah. So all y'all young nail technicians out there, make sure you go follow her and check out some of her work. And we'll see y'all after she's finished.